Accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. Good afternoon, Utah. Happy Thursday or happy Friday Eve. Want to start off with our drought monitor before we get into the forecast because the latest drought monitor came out earlier this morning and we're still chipping away. We're still seeing progress, which is definitely good news. Now 20% of the state in extreme drought. That's down from 26% for the last update. So again, any progress is good progress. We still just have a while to go, but hopefully we just keep this parade of storms that we've seen continuing. And speaking of our storms, we actually have one that's moving in right now. We're seeing scattered mainly light snow showers in the northern half of the state, but there are some spots that are starting to see some snow on the roadways like around Logan and even northern portions of the Wasatch Front and up towards eastern Box Elder County. And we're also starting to see more wet weather filling into southwestern Utah, and this will be a trend as we go from this afternoon into this evening where scattered snow showers will continue in northern Utah. But the emphasis with this particular storm, since it's going to be moving down to the southeast, will be in the central and the southern half of the state with that high pressure now moving away. And for this afternoon into tonight, we'll see multiple winter weather advisories go into effect for portions of central and southern Utah. The first one that will go into effect will be for the central and southern mountains, and that will actually continue through 5 o'clock tomorrow. Meanwhile, the rest of these winter weather advisories will be starting later this afternoon or tonight and will continue through at least Friday morning. And by the time these advisories come to an end, we'll likely see between 6 and 12 inches of snow for the central and southern mountains and 1 to 6 for the rest of the advisories. But along the I-15 corridor between Milford and Cedar City, we could pick up between two and four, which could make for some very tricky travel on the I-15 corridor, along with portions of the I-70 corridor. And while lower Washington County is not included within a winter weather advisory, if the moisture does hold on long enough with colder air moving in, we could see the rain transition over to a wintry mix and maybe just maybe switch over to straight snow. But it's all going to depend on the moisture. But in southern Utah, we are expecting a decent amount of wet weather once we get into the second half of the afternoon through tonight and even through the first half of tomorrow. Brian Head, we're in that winter weather advisory beginning at 2 o'clock, and we, again, we could see over half a foot of snow, and you've got plenty of fresh snow still at Brian Head to enjoy an awesome view, see folks coming down the mountain currently. And then as we make our way into northern Utah, Brigham City, we are seeing snow falling, and there is a little bit of snow on the roadways. It's a little bit slushy, so if you're traveling along the I-15 corridor in eastern Box Elder County, be careful, and we've also seen some of that in portions of Weber County as well. Here's the view from BYU where you have mostly cloudy skies above and there's a little bit of wet weather moving over Utah Lake, but dry in this particular camera view and it's rather chilly. It's 24 in Logan, 21 in Heber City, 33 in Salt Lake, 30 in Provo and 35 degrees in St. George. Those daytime highs today will be similar compared to what we saw yesterday. And just about everywhere we'll have the chance of seeing scattered showers, mainly snow showers with those lower elevations down in southern Utah through the daytime hours, seeing mainly rain. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast two o'clock this afternoon. We'll continue to see that chance for scattered snow showers really across most of the state. But as we go from the second half of today into tonight, that best chance then migrates into central and southern Utah, maybe a few lingering snow showers and the higher terrain through tomorrow morning in northern Utah. But through tomorrow morning into the afternoon, the emphasis will continue to be in the central and southern half of the state before we start to see our skies gradually clear from Friday afternoon into Friday night, leading to a calmer start to the weekend, all ahead of what could be another system coming our way going into the end of the weekend. Here's a look at your snow potential through tomorrow, where central and southern Utah, especially in the mountains, could definitely see more than half a foot of snow, and Cedar City will have that potential of picking up more than a couple of inches, and minor accumulations can't be ruled out in our northern Utah valleys, as we've already seen in Cache Valley. For St. George, PM rain for today, and then as we go into tonight, we could see that change over to a wintry mix or even straight snow. But if we do see straight snow in St. George, not a guarantee, would mainly see minor accumulations, but then dry for this weekend. It will be chilly in St. George. Highs in the low 40s, overnight lows in the 20s. Then along the Wasatch Front, the chance for scattered snow showers through today, calming into tonight, dry for our Friday, dry through Saturday with breezy conditions, a chance of snow on Sunday, then looking mostly dry into early next week. But those daytime highs, upper 20s and low 30s, and possibly dropping into the teens for overnight lows by Saturday night.